There's a couple tools you need to start off dyeing this. You're going to need a colander, a basin to wash fiber in, quart jars to put your dye stuffs in if you're going to microwave dye things, or a dedicated dye pot if you're going to dye them on the stove, and popsicle sticks to touch things, dish soap, and vinegar. This is cool water, just comfortable for my hands to be in. Two squirts of dish soap. Don't fuzz it up. Roughly two tablespoons of vinegar. You don't wanna just throw Angora into a wet situation without opening things up. And the reason for that is because it is water resistant and you can have this soaking for like 24 or 48 hours and it will not get wet. Um, and that means that it won't take the dye. Do you know that tiger sharks are called the white baskets of the sea because they eat almost everything? I did not know that. And they even eat boots. Wow. All right, so you've got fiber floating on the surface and you can see that it is clearly water resistant. And so what I'm going to do with it is kind of gather it in, into my hands gently and plunge it down and then squeeze the air out of it. I am not going to squeeze it quickly. And then while I'm underwater, I am going to pull this out like I'm hand pulling a roving. This is not going to felt it because it's cold water. For felting you need hot water and soap. So we're only going to add a little bit of dye to this. And this is just water and dye. Gather it up in your hand, go underneath, gently squeeze the air out, release underneath, you can give it a second squeeze if you want, and then pull it like you're hand pulling a roving underneath that cold water. Let's say you had an Angora that was kind of webbed up a little bit. You can put this on the cards touch and pull, 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 okay? Like that, that opened those fibers up and if you need to do another pass, I don't need to do another pass on Mr. Peanut here, and set that in. All right, I'm going to give that a second pass because you can see I've still got some areas that aren't open. That's not open. That's not open. All right, and then I can take this off and dunk it in. And I usually do three of these in one batch because that's about equivalent to a nice handful. And notice I'm not dragging this. If you drag this, you're going to get neps. And then it can go right into the dye vat. So there was vinegar in the wash water, but we need to add a little bit more. And you can move this around while it's cold. As soon as it's hot, you can't move this around anymore. And this is going to go in the microwave for two minutes. The fiber has come out of the microwave. It's definitely warm. Don't stir it. And then you're going to wait for a couple hours. Um, you could leave it overnight if you really wanted to. When all of the dye has absorbed into the fiber, you are going to start to see light down here. This will almost be clear and you'll see all of this fiber very very clearly. And you can pretty much see through it. 
I'm happy with the color, so we're going to go with it right now. And just pull the fiber out. And you can see that there is a little bit of color left in the water, but not very much. And this is food coloring. You want to match the temperature that this is to the temperature that this is so that it doesn't felt anything. And gently spread out with your hands. Felting is agitation, heat, and soap. And so if you don't have all three of those, you're not going to get felt. And then you have to wait a few seconds because that dye is going to take time to come out of the fiber. That's clear enough. And then at this point, because it's cool, you can pick it up and gently squeeze it to get the water out. To lay out your fiber, you can pull it apart a little bit so that it dries a little bit better. No, I actually got rid of twinkle twinkle little star because that's not true. Stars don't twinkle. And you're going to turn this every once in a while so that it gets a chance to dry everywhere and the other thing that I do with it is I cover it in tool just to keep it sort of pinned down so the purple came out pretty nice and then here is the green If there's anything that feels cold or cool or damp, it is not done drawing and it needs more time. But this, and anytime you have a clump, like this little clump right here, you want to just sort of pull that apart and make sure that that's not still wet. Bag everything up and in their own little baggies. Very nice selection of colored angora fiber.